Today, I'll be attempting to become the fastest person to ever platinum LEGO 2K Drive. You get it, right? Fastest? Because it's a racing game? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Anyway, the game's rated a 4 out of 10 difficulty on PSN profiles, and on average takes 60 hours to complete. Now, most of these 60 hours is just one specific trophy, but we'll get into that later. So the game starts with a broadcast to all of Bricklandia with Vicky Wheeler and my personal favorite character throughout the game, Parker Carr. They're talking about a brand new racer coming to town, and that's me. In this cutscene, we get introduced to the never been caught cheating, but probably cheats all the time villain, Shadow Z, as well as our big shot X driver, new mentor, Clutch Racington. We go through a super quick tutorial before getting introduced to the open world for the game, as well as get the ability to customize our driver. I went with this little Lego robot dude autopilot, because I like robots. We learn how to drift, we learn how to boost, and just like that, we're ready for our first race. And the way I kept describing this game to people when they would ask is Lego meets Forza Horizon. And that's how the open world for the game felt but once you hop into the actual in-game races it feels like you're playing a lego mario kart i guess we're just doing this huh oh yeah this is kind of similar to mario kart where you get these different uh, abilities and stuff oh press okay so press triangle to jump oh my god what did i what did i get what's this ability i'm in third i don't know what those are hopefully they hit somebody i got that oh there you go no i missed the laser go for the boost go for the boost go for the boost Yo! I'm in the lead. Hold on. No! I needed that! I'm fighting right now. I'm fighting for my life. I've got it! I got it! I got it! Oh my god. I have a shield up. Oh my god. Chat! Chat! I'm him! I'm him, Chat! So I might have been a little hyped about winning this race against AI in a kid's game, but we did unlock our first trophy. Winning this race gives us a new checkered flag, which unlocks Big Butte County, a new POI for us, as well as gives us a brand new vehicle, which progresses us on the 50 that we need to collect a different trophy. We drive into town and immediately have a brand new rival, Chip Hauser, so we take him on in a race. During the race, we unlocked our second trophy for just simply driving around Big Butte County in the story mode. Afterwards, we unlocked two more races, but we did have to be level four in order to start them. So at this point, we had nothing to do besides just drive around the open world and level up a little bit in the environment. And it's during this that I discovered my very first on-the-go event, and I see that it only takes five seconds to get a gold medal on this, and just like the name of it, I tunnel visioned on the goal, and you can call me Wally Coyote because I just slammed into this wall. After sitting there and getting laughed at in a children's game, I decided to go off and do some more on-the-go challenges where we unlocked our third trophy for drifting 5,000 meters. Soon after, we get our next trophy, Hop Uppington, for jumping 100 times. And a couple minutes later, we get another one for destroying 1,000 objects. We hit level 5, and we're officially more than ready for our next race. Dusting Dr. Fast Road, we get another flag, and make it to the central city of the town where we find our first ever quest. On some Where's Waldo type stuff, we're asked to find Vinny Unloaded, who's somewhere in the city wearing a green racing suit. I eventually found him just standing around smashing pies before the race, so I pick him up, bring him back to the event before absolutely dominating him and our brand new rival, Max Speed. Driving around the city, we came across our very first collectible of the game. This is just one of multiple hundreds that are scattered around all of the different maps. This is going to require a lot of cleanup that we do at the end of the playthrough. So just assume I picked up any collectibles I could find across the way of my normal playthrough. And while hunting down more collectibles, I noticed I was super close to our next trophy. With that newfound information that we have on our uh, trophy progress, I think it's only right that we go drive into the most populated city here in the game and start <laughs> punting everybody in it. Literally, I was one away. This seemed like a nice time to stop searching for collectibles and head on over to our next POI. Of course, this means we got our next trophy for driving around the new location, cruising Prospecto Valley. We win a couple more races, and then we come across our first mini game quest of the story mode. One of the characters throughout the story, Professor Fusion, just keeps creating different types of killer robots. This first one was Killer Cowboys, and our objective was to drive around and collect survivors, bring them to a safe zone, drop them off, and just run over as many cowboys as possible. We go on to win our next race, and while driving around the open world, unlock our next trophy there we go roadhog i knew we were close to that trophy so that's for destroying 200 traffic vehicles at this point a story is starting to develop for the game so we head back over to big butte city to help dr fastro collect haywire rockets after finishing up with fastro we unlock our first set of jetpacks on the map and these are used to grab collectibles that we otherwise wouldn't be able to get access to as well as just being collectibles themselves we now have just one race standing between us and our first invitation of the grand bricks and that's the abduction 500 and this is my favorite race so far we're going head to head against our new rival human human eat my space dust Okay. What was his power up? His EMPs are more effective. Oh, I want his car and I want to use him as a racer. All right, we're undefeated so far. Let's see if we can keep that record going. 
Oh, some other rocket hits. There we go. There we go. That's big. I don't know how far ahead we are, but it's it's got to be crazy right now. He's on my tail. Did I get him with that? I got him with that. No, no, I'm going slow though. Go, go. I'm at the end. Ah! <laughs> oh. Rival beaten, human. Now, I don't know how many of you guys noticed that at the end, but there were weeds in the ground that slowed down my character a lot. Later on in the game, that's going to be another one of the many hundreds of collectibles there are for me to just drive around and find. For now, we take our eighth checkered flag and celebrate because we now have the ability to race in the Big Butte Grand Bricks. This one was pretty cool because I had to face all the rivals I had to beat in order to get here again in what was probably my most chaotic race yet. Let's go. Oh, I finally got a perfect boost. I got him. I got him. He jumped over it. I dare you to jump over this one. He jumps over that one. Boom. I was way too excited over that. It literally didn't even affect him. Oh, I got smacked in the back and it gave me a speed boost. Did I hit him with that? I got him with that. Yeah. I got him. Ah, we clutched. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, that was intense. All right, we got our first gold medal. Let's go, chat. The first gold medal in hand, I had just a few more quests and races before we unlocked the final POI. And while working on them, we popped two more trophies. Well, yeah, I was confused on what that button did. I've never seen that power up before. What's this button do? Trophy uh, acquired. Get in front of me, I dare you. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Heat seeker, there we go. What was that for? Hit opponents with missiles 15 times. We finally unlocked the lawnmower, and now it's time to head over to Hauntsboro. Just like every new location, after driving around for a couple minutes, we pop a new trophy. Let me get that pumpkin, though. Ugh. Just like our last locations, we go around and do the story mode races and quests while grabbing whatever on-the-go events and collectibles we can find. After a few hours of playing, I finally decided to go to Unki's Emporium for the very first time, which is essentially the online shop for this game. I hadn't spent any money playing the story up until this point, so we had 17,000 bucks saved up. I see an alien driver, and you guys had heard earlier in the playthrough I was talking about how I really wanted an alien Lego character, so I make my first purchase of the playthrough. With 11,000 left, I decided to purchase a vehicle too, and I grab a new boat because I noticed that I was really slow on the water. Shout 2k for microtransactions love you guys my bank account's empty and i'm desperate for money so we do some more races where i get my next trophy for collecting 10 perks a few hours go by and we finally collected enough checkered flags to go to the prospecto valley grand bricks arena and i can't even lie i don't know how we won this one we just got extremely lucky at the end okay 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 we're fine Ugh. we can break them we can break them we can break them why a shark okay hopefully this is a shortcut And I, don't, I bounced back somehow. That entire race was so stressful, but we just picked up another trophy. The next few hours are rinse and repeat. We're just doing more story mode races, leveling up, and collecting flags. When I finally knock out a trophy, I was hunting throughout this entire playthrough so far. The description for this one is spin 1080 degrees in the air without using a jetpack. And no complaints, it gave it to me when I did this 360. I didn't even think I did a 1080. I don't even think I did it, but we finally knocked out the trophy. Oh my God. That was not a 1080. I'll take it. I'll take it. We did it. It's not too much longer when I notice my progress on speaking to 150 different people is pretty close to being done. So I start to focus on that mission. And while attempting to order some Lego Chick-fil-A, we end up getting it. There it is. Honk means hello. Talk to 150 folk. I knew there'd be a lot here in this town that we had to clean up. I now have 24 flags and this is the amount that we needed to do our final Grand Bricks event in Hansboro. And winning this will give us a spot to race in the event of the year, the Sky Cup. This one surprisingly wasn't too challenging. We knock it out and now it's time for the sky. The only problem is the Sky Cup does require you find your own transportation to the race. Luckily, my life coach Clutch Racington built me a rocket and we're gonna... Oh, oh wait, no, he didn't build me a rocket. Okay, a ball, a rubber band, and a ramp that works too but we make it to the sky cup and it's finally time for us to face the villain of the story shadow z i'm hyped dude it's time for us to become 
the champion. Oh my God, I'm playing Shadow Z and all of his guys. How far behind are we right now? I feel like this man actually doesn't need a cheat. He's kind of built diffy. Oh my God. I haven't even seen Z since we started the race. I do have a rocket for whoever this dude is in front of me though. Oh, yo. Staying on like that is crazy. I finally see Z. Let me get that. Stay on the track. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got hit by two bombs. I'm starting to think this wasn't actually a shortcut. Oh, he's on me. Homie's on me. Not for long though. Bricked. Bricked. This is so close. Who are you? Oh, I think we did it, chat. I think we did it, chat. Come on. What is that? What is that? What does that mean? What? What hit me? Ah, go! Go! No! I can't! I can't beat him! Ah, yes! Yes! Sky Gump champion, baby! Bro, we got... We got square wheeled at the very end and everybody was just right there at the finish. And with the Sky Trophy finally ours... It's time to do a lot of cleanup because we only have 18 of the 39 trophies. At this point in our playthrough, we're level 27. And as you progress in the levels, your vehicle actually gets faster. So I figured this would be a good point for us to start knocking out gold medals on all the on-the-go events. All right, there we go. We golded everywhere in uh, the big butte. At this point, I realized I was just one rocket jetpack away from collecting all the jetpacks, so I decided to drive around and search for that when I unlock another milestone trophy for breaking 15,000 objects. Eventually, we spotted the final jetpack and picked it up for another trophy. With two trophies popping back to back within five minutes, I was feeling pretty good at this location and decided to just keep going for the collectibles. We mow down all the weeds, find all the experimental batteries and silver sprockets, and all we have left are the rainbow bricks. Although their collectibles are usually linked to a certain portion of the map, but these bricks are actually scattered across the entirety of it. So my strategy was to drive to high points and just overlook the area when I saw something flashing in the distance. Oh, that's the last block right there. I just saw something glowing in the distance. There we go. Roadshow ready. So that's for collecting every collectible. I felt like this was the perfect stopping point for the day, so I decided to call it a night. I woke up fresh the next day, ready to tackle Hauntsboro, when I came across this graveyard with skeletons roaming around. These are actually hostile skeletons that will rip your vehicle apart brick by brick. Knowing I needed to wreck my vehicle 100 times for a trophy, I thought this could be a useful farm. So for the next half hour, I sat there getting ripped to pieces until this happened. Bye, world. It used to work. I had to die for 30 minutes straight by skeletons to get that one. While tracking more on the goes, we discover the final garage needed for this trophy. Wait, what is that for? Discover all the garages in the world in story mode. Oh, okay. So I haven't been to this part of the map yet. And then we finished getting gold on the last two on the goes at this location. There we go. We golded first try. Okay, so that's gold on every single place in uh, Hans Boro. Just like before, now it's time to hunt down all the missing collectibles. We finished the Hero's Journey collection, which levels us up for the final time. Oh, that put us to level 30, too. So we're officially max level. Would you know what that means? It's time for us to hop into the multiplayer. And just like I said, I thought it'd be a great time to take a break and go to the multiplayer for the game. For this, all I had to do was finish 10 online matches, so it should be a pretty fun time. Yeah, yeah. Second place is at the bridge there. That's GG's. Hey, there we go. I'll take that. That's our 10th game. I think we gotta wait for a 10, though. There it is. New challengers. Play 10 races or mini games and play with everyone. I noticed I had over 60 grand saved up at this point, so I decided to start buying other racers. Eventually, the trophy popped up for collecting the 15 drivers. Finally, it was time for us to head back to Prospecto Valley and finish the rest of the on-the-go events. So here we go. Our final on-the-go gold. 20 seconds stands between me and that that trophy i see it i see it full send there we go the golden ending that was a good run there all right so we got every gold medal in every on the go event in the world that puts us at 61 progress now it's time to finish all the side quests in the game and i ended up being closer than i expected honestly if world challenges don't count then we might only have one quest left and it's this one that we just discovered this has got to be the easiest smuggling sally i've ever done that was so easy. Yeah, there we go. All right, Folk Hero. Back to back. That one's a gold this time around. Complete all quests in the world in story mode. And you know the drill from here. It's back to going after collectibles. And after some time, this happens. There it is. Okay, that was our final jetpack. 
At this point, my brain was fried from driving around circles on the map for hours, so I decided to take a quick break and go to the garage to finish the go-kart tutorial, which is essentially just a builder simulator. I'm not the most creative person, but eventually we popped the trophy and now we have this awesome new boat. Please like the video for my boat because I worked really hard on it. Anyway, after a nice change of pace, it was time to go back to Hauntsboro and continue driving in more circles. We finished collecting all the bat packs, then mowing down all the weeds, and eventually finished finding all the collectibles in the location. I found it. Oh my god. I was driving up to this because I was about to say, I bet it's in a space that I've gone to multiple times, but just never like checked in detail. There it is. Now, I'm sure you could tell my voice was going at this point, and what you didn't see through all this editing was the fact that that took me nearly six hours to complete. But before we call it a night, there was one last thing I had to do, and that's set up an AFK driving farm. The reason is because whatever genius that created the trophy list for this game decided it was a good idea to add two trophies in, one for driving 3,000 miles and another for driving 6,000 miles. Just to put into perspective how far 6,000 miles actually is in this game, everything that I've done up until this point, including some previous afk farms has only accumulated for 2500 miles luckily at this point there's a guide on youtube that showed the most efficient way to farm miles and i let it do its thing for a while so all i had to do is come back the next day and see the progress check we can already see that our afk farm got us one of the trophies so i'm assuming it got us the trophy for the 3000 miles which is going to be big yes so that happened at 9 a.m. today. It's currently 1.23 a.m. That's a big positive because that means we got a lot of miles progressed on the 6,000. And we're past the halfway mark. The question just is, how far into the 6,000 mile goal are we? I'm kind of nervous for this because this is going to dictate whether or not we can actually get the record or not. 93%? Yo! Yo! This record is possible. And as you may have just heard, I said this record is possible. I noticed a couple days beforehand that the fastest person to achieve the platinum on PSM profiles had done it in four days and 16 hours. And at this point, we are just scratching the surface of the four day mark, which meant if I was able to knock out the last remaining trophies in the next couple of hours, I would be the new fastest achiever. So it's back to Prospecto Valley and time to clear the map. As I was losing hope, I finally come across the last patch of weeds to unlock the crystal clear trophy. And a few hours later, eventually, the final gold nugget on the map i found it <laughs> let's go now that we're finally done with the grind trophies i thought it was going to be smooth sailing for the rest of the way but i got hit with a couple of curveballs the first one being for avoid 50 missiles by jumping over them in races i was told by my chat that this one would be pretty easy to accomplish because i could just grab a second controller and jump over my own missiles well it turns out i don't have a second ps5 controller and my ps4 controller isn't compatible with the game secondly we need to collect 50 new vehicles and after completing the entire game i'm still nowhere near that goal luckily with this being a 2k game again microtransactions are a thing my wallet was able to save me on that trophy and after spending 50 real dollars we were able to have enough fake dollars to buy the rest of those vehicles after 30 minutes of driving around in circles testing out all my new vehicles i thought it was time to finally face the reality that i need to figure out how to jump over 50 rockets efficiently i knew i wasn't going to be able to knock this out against ai just because my entire time playing the game so far i was only able to jump over five so i knew i had to figure out something different so i decided to hop into the multiplayer for the game and attempt to make a friend and somehow the very first person that I messaged about doing this agreed. As someone who grew up in Call of Duty lobbies, I was genuinely surprised to see someone want to cooperate. So I bring them over to a private match and we knocked out this trophy in three minutes. Gotta be getting close. There we go, there we go. Afterwards, I return the favor because I know this trophy is a grind. Shout out to the Phantom Sand, you saved me so much time. With that out of the way, that means we have just one more trophy standing between us and the Platinum for the game. And you guessed it, that's drive 6,000 miles. Luckily at this point, we're 97% of the way there and I had a pretty efficient route driving in circles. The thing is, even at 97%, I still spent over an hour driving in a circle and we didn't get it. Starting to think it was my destiny to sit in this lego game and just drive in circles for hours and hours with no end the trophy pops and leaves me speechless that's it <laughs> there it is baby tastes like platinum we got it done bro I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. This is just the third platinum I've ever gotten on PlayStation. And hearing that sound effect while I sit here and edit this video just makes me want to hunt more. So if you have any recommendations on platinums you want to see me go for, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to check it out, on screen now is a link to my very first ever platinum on my account. It's definitely a video that Steve Harvey would approve of.